Uh, I would say there are three, at least three massive challenges. I think the science is becoming more and more complex. I think affordability is becoming a major issue. And of course, patients and society want safer and safer drugs. So in terms of complexity, I mean, sort of, you know, in the, in the year 2000, when we did the Human Genome Project, you know, we had the sequence of the human genome. We thought we were going to get lots of drug targets out of it. Unfortunately, that hasn't panned out as we would have liked. But now we realize there's another layer of complexity on top of that, which is epigenetics. Now everybody's talking about the microbiome. And what this is making us realize is that patients are just incredibly heterogeneous. And this is probably a big reason why many of our clinical studies keep failing. And so, you know, we need to understand this heterogeneity if we're going to stratify patients and increase the probability of success. Affordability, of course, you know, in the UK, we've got, what, 850,000 people with dementia. It costs the state, what, 32 billion uh, pounds a year to look after them. You know, in 2050, we're going to have 2 million people with dementia. We're not going to be able to afford it. And if we come up with a treatment that costs several hundred thousand pounds a year, the NHS will go bankrupt overnight. And so affordability is also a massive issue. And of course, safety. I mean, patients rightly and society rightly want safe molecules. But I think we need to address the balance a bit. I mean, it, it is about risk benefit. When we manage the intake of a drug, we're basically managing the intake of a poison. You know, if you take too much of it, there's bound to be side effects. I mean, if I took a teaspoonful of salt every day, there will be side effects, etc. So um, I think we just need to bear in mind that I don't think any drug is going to be completely safe. So three challenges, and there's many more. Despite all the successes in drug discovery in recent years, there remain a number of really key challenges to, to, to the continued discovery of, of new drugs. Perhaps the most major today is target validation. Um, the ability to identify and prosecute a target with relevance to disease remains a huge issue for pharma. Um, we've made rapid advances in recent years in terms of our understanding of disease and, the, and disease segmentation and our ability to bring new targets forward, but the ability to do that with confidence, knowing that if you intervene at a target, you'll have efficacy in that disease state, remains a major issue. So I think we, we're in an evolving landscape. So for example, we're now looking at a number of different modalities for, for medicines from cell and gene therapy, biopharm modality, as well as the traditional small molecule. Um, and that brings with it some challenges in terms of access uh, for patients to the medicines. How do we get those different modalities to patients? Um, I think in addition, you know, unfortunately we're still in a landscape where around 85% of, of what we do doesn't make it to a patient at the end of the day. So we really need to focus on how we can reduce our rates of attrition. And we're hearing about some of that here in the meeting this year in terms of bringing patient samples much earlier in the process so we can look at safety and efficacy readouts um, in combination as early in the process as we can to try and drive down our rates of attrition and increase the chances ultimately of getting medicines to patients, which is why we're here. Well, now, that's uh, something we could speak uh, for a, a long time on. I do believe that uh, as a community, we um, are challenged in delivering innovative medicines with novel mechanisms of actions as opposed to uh, generics is a tough, tough business. And, and I think we all know attrition is very high. Um, even when we get into uh, patients, everything from uh, cost models and patient compliance are all reasons why it can be difficult to uh, really take medicines to uh, the patients that need them. Um, hard to really call out uh, one thing, I think it really is a combination of many different factors uh, which makes drug discovery, discovery inherently hard, but whilst as a community we need to work so hard to bring new patients uh, new medicines that they need.